So is anyone up for a haul? All right, so in the spirit of me still trying to get caught up, I thought I'd do a little bit of a haul video. This one's gonna be a little bit different than a typical haul because um, if you followed my channel in the past, you know that I don't really shop. <laughs> and basically, because I haven't done a haul this entire year, I'm basically just picking out a few things that I thought would be fun to share. And I'll pr try to do more regular hauls that <laughs> will actually be relevant. Obviously, I'm sitting down, so I'm not going to be showing you any apparel or anything like that. Just a few key items that I thought would be cool to share. So if you follow me on social media, you probably know how much of a geek girl I am. But I think this will be the first time of me really kind of <laughs> going out there and really showing you. Okay, so I do collect action figures. That's I don't think that's a shocker for some people. But my latest action figure, if you can call it that obsession, I mean, they're toys, is the Imaginex DC collection. I don't know why, but I love those little guys. I think they are so cute. And to be perfectly honest, I feel like DC toys have just kind of just gone down in like quality and value and stuff lately. And I'm just not really interested in a lot of the, the larger actual action figures that they have anymore. But I've become like obsessed with Imagine X. So maybe one day I'll do a video showing my ridiculous Imagine X collection. But for, day, for today, I'm just going to show you some of the little ones that I got out of like mystery boxes. You know, you've probably seen them around the everybody's done them. Funko's done them. Disney's done them. Everybody does these little mystery boxes where you open it up and you don't know what you're going to get. And like my husband has like a whole set of like He-Man figures from a mystery box. But you know, this isn't his channel. So we're not looking at his stuff. We're looking at my stuff. So these are the Imagine X ones that I got out of the mystery boxes. So this is my armored Wonder Woman. I don't know if you can see her that well. She's kind of blurry I guess but this is my armored Wonder Woman so I got her out of the mystery box I think she was the second one I got out of the mystery box and um, I'll show you the first one and the first one is the reason why I kept getting them because I thought if I get a really crappy one the first time I'm not gonna invest my money in any more of these but here's the first one that I got out of the mystery box and this is the um the girl robin i always forget her name like how much of a fan am i that i always forget her name but i love her um she's from i think the dark knight returns series so i love i love this i love this robin so this was the first one i got out of the mystery box okay let's see what else i have oh this is one of my favorite this is the this is the most recent one that i got and his armor is coming off a little bit, but I think I'll fix it later. But anyway, I know I'm a grown woman, people. This is Sinestro. And I know a lot of you are probably like, who the heck is that? If you're at all familiar with that horrible movie Ryan Reynolds did, Green Lantern, that's not Green Lantern. Green Lantern is really awesome. And this is one of his major villains, Sinestro. He's a, red, he's a yellow lantern. All right, so I also have, I think this is one of the best one of these I've seen in a long time. Oh, oh, see, they have little weapons and stuff, and like they come off, and I'm trying to, this is my Aquaman. Isn't he so cool looking? This is probably one of the best Aquamans I've seen in a long time. I know, they're kids' toys. I don't care. And then my last one is, uh-oh. He's got something coming off of him. Let me see if I can get him back on. Mm, I may not be able to. So anyway, so this one, I'll tell you real quick. When I first pulled it out, I thought it was a red tornado. And I like red tornado. But this is actually Mr. Miracle. He's um, a character who's known for getting out of any, any situation, kind of like a Houdini. And that's why he's in this little thing. This is something that he's supposed to be able to escape from. So these are... <laughs> 
the Imaginax that I got out of the mystery boxes. So there was my moment of geekdom. And I have another little item that I want to share. I, this is more of an accessory. It's not apparel. But um, I saw this at Barnes & Noble in the clearance section. And I had to have it. Um, <laughs> I thought I was going to carry it as a purse. But so far, the only thing I've put in it are old Game Boy games and bookmarks. So I don't care. So this is um, my little... Um, bookish kind of pencil bag is what it's supposed to be a pencil bag but I um, like I said I use it for old Game Boy games and bookmarks but I don't care I love it <laughs> alright so now I'm gonna get to um, books and the books that I'm gonna be featuring most of these are all graphic novels just because um, I really my graphic novel collection is huge. Um, if you saw something that I actually did post this year, way back at the beginning of the year, I did a graphic novel readathon, and I'm a I'm going to do that again next year. I'm probably going to do that every year because I found that for me, I am I'm like more like into the idea of collecting these graphic novels, and I hold on to them and I look at them and I don't ever read them. But hosting the graphic novel readathon motivates me to actually read them. So here are some of the things that I've collected throughout the year, and I don't believe I've shared them. Um, the first thing, though, is not a graphic novel, but I do want to share it. I may have shared it on this channel before, but I don't care. Um, it is the Brown Sugar Fairies, and this is um kind of a middle grade book. It's not really long enough to be like a chapter type book but it's not a, a little story either and I supported this through a Kickstarter that's how I find a lot of my stuff through Kickstarter and oh here's some art you can see but I'm gonna show you inside the book as well so the reason why I'm showing you like see the pages are they're, they're mostly text pages but they do have some black and white illustrations in them and then every couple of so pages you get a full page color illustration and it's absolutely amazing and so of course I see something like this on Kickstarter and I have to support it one because I love supporting independent artists and it's a fairy story based on African culture it supports people of color so why not so that's something that I picked up a while back, but I don't believe I ever shared it. If I did, you're getting a look at it again. So the next thing that I got was I had bought a copy of the March graphic novel for my nephew. And I read it kind of really quick because I knew I was giving to, giving it to him as a gift. And I, I mean, I did read it, but I went through it really, really fast because I was giving it away. And so when I had a chance to get the whole set at a discount, I did. And so I'm going to reread, but this is the whole set here. It actually came in like this little box. But um, if you don't know about March, it basically recounts the uh, civil rights movement from one particular person's point of view. And it covers kind of the major events. It covers the bus boycott um i think it covers the the like um the year where martin luther king does his speech I, see i've only read the first one so I, I can only vouch for what's in the first book but then i know that it eventually covers the burnings the church burnings and so i'm gonna read all three of these i'm gonna show you the covers this is the first one that covers the um, voice bus boycotts, and then it goes more into the civil rights movement. What I believe um, Martin Luther King's "I Have a Dream" speech, and maybe even goes up to his assassination. I'm not sure. I haven't read the second one yet, um, but I'm very. I just even just talking about it, it really kind of moves me. It, it almost brings me to tears. This is such an amazing story, and then this is the. Third book, I think this is the one I'm going to have the hardest time reading because 
those children who died in those fires. All right, let me stop. This is supposed to be a fun video. So anyway, this this is just um, one of the things I'll be reading during my graphic novel readathon at the beginning of next year. Because I think um, I do better with my readathons when I do them in the spring. So that's something to look forward to. So here are some other um, Kickstarters that I have supported. Gotten some pretty cool stuff. I thought I'd share it. This is um, an anthology of stories that are based on the works of Edgar Allan Poe. So, and it's a graphic novel. The interior is all black and white, but it's still beautiful. There's so many different styles of art in here. And very interesting story. It tells you on the back which stories are, are kind of featured in here, like the Telltale Heart, the Black Cat, um, Annabelle Lee. You know, you know the, the stories. So that's in here. Very excited about that. And this is the one that I got most recently. I backed it a long time ago, but I, you know, with these Kickstarters, sometimes. You don't get the stuff right away and I think that's kind of part of the experience at least for me because if you if you back a good campaign the creator keeps in touch with you and they send you newsletters and they let you know how the process is going so I'm also going to be posting some pictures on my Facebook just to kind of give a shout out to these people because I have this stuff I haven't shared it with anyone so this is called Alter Life and it, it looks really cool, right? So this is a Kickstarter that I promoted. And this one is full color on the inside. I love these images. And I'm so excited to read it. And I actually started it a long time ago because, again, the creator part of the um, campaign was that, you know, support, you got the digital copy. So I started reading it. And I really liked it, but then I decided, you know what, I want to wait and get the whole thing at once. So that's that's that. I'll be posting my picture with the book and tagging all the appropriate people on Facebook and Twitter saying, let's put that away. And then the next thing I got, I don't believe it's a graphic novel. I think it's just an anthology. I'm in a Facebook group. And of course, I can't remember the name of it, but it's all about... Um, I think specifically black people, but it talks about any people of color in the world of science fiction and fantasy and, you know, speculative fiction. So it's all about um, representing that demographic, saying, you know, they do have a presence in that genre. And so this is called Blacktastic, um, Black Stick <laughs> I can't say it. It's an anthology of stories um, featuring people of color. And so this was posted in the group. I thought the book cover looked amazing. So I bought it and it, it arrived. So I'll be reading this at some point. So I just thought I would do this fun little video. I hope it has been fun. I know I've been kind of blubbering and I think I've been shaking the camera. So sorry about that. Hopefully we can fix that when I post it. <laughs> So anyway, I hope you enjoyed my Imaginex. I hope you enjoyed my little pencil bag that I don't use for pencil <laughs> and some of the books I've supported. So that's all I have for now. Bye-bye.